So I have here this game. It's called Fast Flip. And yes, it is another borrowed game because I love it. Whenever I see a therapist or a teacher or someone I work with, a colleague, a friend that has an amazing game, <laughs> I like it. Gotta borrow it for the next few days. So this is one of them borrowed for the next few days. This is called Fast Flip. It's by Company Blue Orange. I just totally love their games. I have one similar, not similar, but a different educational game from Blue Orange I reviewed in the past. Totally going to leave a link in the description box below because it was just as amazing. Different skills, but let's go check out Fast Flip and how to play. So first of all, these cards are in the shape of triangles. So right here, that is totally unique and different. I will point out there are two ways to play this game. I am going to do it one way because that just happens to be the target market or the kids that I work with. And so I'm going to show you how we play it and then, you know, you'll kind of... Um, if you do buy the game, check out the other way. So, oops, one second. This was played. Okay, so here's how you play the game. The cards are like this. You know, you see the cards, quite simple, quite easy to understand. Now you fast flip, fast flip. Oh, berries. How many berries do you see? Now, the game, the goal of the game is, oh, do I see one, two, three berries? But, as you can see, I pointed. You're not supposed to point. The first person to yell it, they get the point. And then again, you fast flip one. Ooh, what is one? <gasps> the orange is one. And again, keep on going, keep on flipping. And the person to have the most cards or the most points is the winner. Now, why do I love this game so much? I'll tell you why. First of all, beginner math estimation. Now, two. What is two? Now, the eye ha is actually trained. Well, I see way too much going on here in the berries um, so it's not it. Strawberries, um, pineapples, bananas. I have to really, really visualize and see hmm, what is there a little bit of. So that's, again, beginning estimation versus a lot and a little. Once I find my answer, I flip it over three. Again, I have to use my estimation. Am I going to go after... You know, I know three is slightly more, so am I going to go after the bananas? No, probably not, because the bananas they see are way too many. It's not going to be three. I need to go for something less. So it trains the eye to kind of visualize and see, you know, many versus few. Now, a tip with that is some kids get very overwhelmed, especially the kids I work with. So absolutely, we go very, very slow. You hear me say this a lot. In the beginning, any game I introduce, depending on the child I work with, the key is slow. I don't want them to get overwhelmed. I don't want them to feel like, oh, I'm never going to win, I'm never going to win. You know what? It's okay. Even though this game is a speed game, the speed will come later. The speed may come in a year, in two years. But the key is the skill. I want to build the skill, and as we're building a skill, that's, you know, when the education comes. Um, so again, just keep flipping. Here you have the berries, and that's visual discrimination. I have to only go after the strawberries. You know, I see raspberries, I see pineapples, I see oranges, but I'm only going after the strawberries. So I'm going to have to take a step back and count the strawberries. The first time I played, I'll be quite honest, some of the children mixed up. They one, two, three, because the colors are so similar. And especially when you have them all the same size. And you know what? That actually teaches the kids, wait a second, stop, take a step back and think. Life isn't a rush. Think things through. And guess what? That is beginning word problem solving skills. Because when the children get up to math and they actually have to solve the word problems and they get to the oranges, no one is going to tell them, you know, you have to stop and focus and observe the whole entire, in this case card, the whole entire situation, and then you go about solving the math problem. So you're just teaching the kids to slow down. Um, and again, they'll get faster, but in the beginning, anything new, slow down, take it in, see what the skill is being asked. And look at these berries. Look, at, they're just so cute. They're just, look, look how friendly they are. They're cute. They're adorable. They're smiling. They're making funny faces. And the kids just are so attracted to that. And again, that is such a great game. So just to sum it up, beginning math, visual discrimination, estimation, and most importantly, fun. This game is so much fun. I remember the first time I was introduced with a child and um, I was away on vacation. And again, a therapist brought it. I, oh, not there. What? Hmm. She was more like a family friend than a therapist, and another therapist had it, so I was like, I've seen this so many times, and this is definitely something I will be adding to my bag of, 
you know, activities for the kids because it is so much fun. Um, just to show you, they do come with these pieces. It's for the advanced game. I'm not, the kids that I work with, I am really, or the kids that she works with who work together, they're not up to the advanced game. So to be honest, I've never actually read the rules. This alone was so much fun, and I see it in one child specifically. She just keeps increasing her skill. She increases her patience, and and just to watch her go from a child who couldn't even find what the one was on the card to be able to go, oh, strawberry, blah, blah, blah. okay, there's the answer, uh, orange, okay, one, two, three, okay, there's the answer. And just to see the speed building up in her patience is just totally worth it. So again, this is the game, it's called Fast Flip, it is so much fun. And you know what, for adults, I enjoyed it. Have a group of adults, see who could do it the fastest. Fast Flip is so much fun. Thank you, Blue Orange. If you want to learn more about this game, feel free to comment in the comment box below because I will answer all of you guys. You guys are amazing. Happy playing.